And as researchers in Vancouver are discovering, placebos work in ways we would never have imagined. For most people, taking the dog out is a walk in the park. But for Paul Pattison, it's an accomplishment. Paul has Parkinson's, a debilitating condition caused by a deficit of dopamine, a chemical in the brain that controls movement. I, I'm, I'm losing mobility quickly. I, I take uh, drugs to uh, produce uh, dopamine so I can move, but it, it's just tough, it's really tough. The medication comes with its own set of problems. If he takes too much or the dose wears off, he's seriously disabled. Simply putting one foot in front of the other can be a Herculean task. For instance, if I need to go to the bathroom, is kind of acute. I, my feet are frozen to the ground. I'm li literally um, not able to move, take a proper stride. I will get down on the floor and I'll crawl. So I'm just going to go through the, see what your motor function is like. John Stossel is director of the Pacific Parkinson's Research Center at the University of British Columbia. Now, can I just get you to hold your hands out? He's devoted his career to helping people like Paul. Today, Dr. Stossel is considered a pioneer in placebo research. Okay. And do that with the other hand. But back in 2001, while studying dopamine signaling in the brain, he practically stumbled across the placebo effect. And stand up. The original study uh, of the placebo effect was actually, I have to admit, an accident. Okay. We were just trying to better understand the complications of treatment. If you think of the brain as a big mushroom with a cap and a stem, at the top of the stem is an area called the substantia nigra, the black substance, and that's where the dopamine-producing cells are. They send projections forward in the brain that are important for motor control. Dr. Stossel's team compared patients given dopamine-producing drugs to those injected with saline. Amazingly, the placebo patients responded. The remarkable thing about this is that they released a lot of dopamine. We realized it was just an enormous uh, breakthrough, really. They continued looking for breakthroughs. In 2010, Paul was one of 35 patients who signed up for another study with an intriguing new twist. Dopamine is not only important for uh, motor control, but it's also important for signaling reward, and in particular, the expectation of reward. The reward is easing symptoms. For Parkinson's patients, unhampered movement is like hitting the jackpot. The researchers wondered if patients would benefit from playing the odds. If you're in group A, you will have a 25% chance of getting the drug. So patients were told their chances of getting real drugs versus fake pills. If you are in group C, you will have a 75% chance of getting the drug. And if we wanted to see whether we could manipulate the strength of the placebo effect by deliberately manipulating expectation. And if you are in group D, you will have a 100% chance of getting the drug. Just let me see. But first, Dr. Stossel assessed each patient's ability to move without the help of drugs okay. or placebo. Now, same thing with the other hand. A difficult task for Paul. Hard to do, eh? Okay. Head on the cushion. Yeah, that's good. But a mobility test only tells half the story. So the next step is a brain scan. That's pretty good, actually. PET, or positron emission tomography, has been called a live satellite feed from inside the human body. A radioactive tracer highlights the release of a specific chemical in the brain, in this case, dopamine. This PET image shows a brain before the patient receives treatment. The red color indicates a lack of dopamine. But after the patient has taken a drug, the red disappears as dopamine production increases. OK, 
Okay, so today is your third and final scan, and for this... Scan, for Paul, time to find out his odds of getting drugs versus placebo. Placebo, and there's a 75% chance that it is the real drug Cinemet, okay? Okay. And no matter what we told them, we gave them a placebo. But would the expectation that he might be rewarded with a real drug have a real impact? There we go. After the scan was over, people got up and they were able to walk, whereas they hadn't been able to at the start of the scan. And that was after placebo. Oh, I went down the hall and my gait was proper and uh, I, you know, I was utterly convinced that I was on medication. But in fact, you received a placebo. Though you were told you had a 75% chance of getting active drug, in fact, no matter what we told you, you would have received a placebo. I was shocked. Wow. I was completely, completely surprised. I was ut utterly convinced. I, I knew I was on meds. Open and close your right hand. Though they were on placebo, Paul and others who thought they had a 75% chance of getting drugs released a lot of dopamine and had better right. mobility. Good. I'm going to pull a little bit harder this time. Okay, gotcha. But when they were given other probabilities, including 100%, they didn't. So this may seem to be a bit paradoxical because you would think that expectation is highest when you're told there's a 100% chance of getting active drug. But think about a child with Christmas coming up. They've asked for a little red wagon and you've told them, well, we'll see. On Christmas Day, when they open the present, their sense of excitement is probably going to be higher if they didn't know they were going to get it, as opposed to if they'd seen it there sitting under the tree all along. So the uncertainty probably does have some heightening effect here. The hope is that this knowledge could lead to better treatment. But for Paul, the reward is simply knowing that somewhere deep within him lies the ability to heal himself. The fact that I was able to, 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 to perform and, and do things while not on meds was, was thrilling. And I guess the study uh, proved that placebos uh, can work. And anything that can produce the effect that allows me to keep going, keep moving, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll embrace it.